Bass Lab. Today we're going to break down Paul McCartney's iconic bass line on the song Come Together by the Beatles. So let's get to it. Come Together has three real sections, a verse, a pre-chorus, and a chorus. We're going to leave most of the right hand out for this lesson because Paul McCartney always seems to be playing with down strokes with a pick, so there's not a lot to know. Try working with a pick, or you could easily play this with index and middle finger as well as we do in most other lessons. Let's take a look at the first part. The verse part is probably the trickiest part of the whole song, but it's also the most iconic. So let's break that down first. As I mentioned, Paul McCartney's always picking with a down stroke on the right hand. So when in doubt, go down. Let's take a look at what the left hand does. We're gonna start with index finger on five on A, and play that twice. Again, down strokes. Then I use three and four, or just fourth finger on the seventh fret of D, and I'm gonna slide that immediately after I play it up to 12. Then 10 on G with index, and back to pinky on 12 on D. Slowly. Let's look at the left hand. That's it. Repeat that eight times and you've got the verse. So that brings us to the pre-chorus, which is pretty simple. You stay on the note A two times. That's five on E, then five on G, and seven on D. Let's look at the left hand of that. You do that twice and then you play the note G three on E, up to speed. After waiting eight beats after the pre-chorus, you're going to play the chorus. Again, down strokes on eighth notes on the right hand. We're going to play the note B, A, G, and back to A. It'll look like this. Here are a couple extras that will make it work better as an ensemble. For a solo section, like on the recording, the bass can stay on D for four bars, which is five on A, and then move to A, which is five on E for eight bars, which makes a 12 bar solo total. From there, you go directly back into the verse. Eighth notes. Four bars like that, eight bars on A, and then into the verse. The other is an outro. Like on the original recording, Paul McCartney just stays on the note D as they kind of riff out and play some solos at the end. Sometimes sliding up from a half step below. I hope that helps put it together. Ah, but you thought I'd forget, but I didn't. There's a cool extra that Paul McCartney plays in between groups of verses or before the chorus or right before the outro. And it's a little turnaround that sounds like this. So let's take a look at that. First, the beginning of the verse. And then, hammering on pinky. Let's take a look at the left hand. to speed, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on Come Together and it's inspired you to go back and listen to some more of the bass lines by the incredible singer, songwriter, and bass player Paul McCartney. When you get good at this song, try going to the playlist section and playing along with the original track. Good luck.